Hey guys, welcome to Tabletop Corner. Today I'm doing something slightly different. It's not another Doctor Who miniatures expansion, which I have accidentally done loads of in a row just because I have such a backlog of them. We do have more of them to do, but today I thought I'd go over to a different part of Warlord Games that interests me. And today we're going to look at the Judge Dread miniatures game. And today we're going to open the first expansion that I've gotten for it, which is the Judge Dread expansion for it, which makes a lot of sense. What doesn't really make sense is that the Judge Dread miniatures game base set doesn't come with Judge Dread. It's okay. This is another game by Warlord Games, as I say, and it's certainly another one that um, interests me. So yeah, we've just been slowly getting into this. We had uh, one sort of trial game to test it out, but uh, it didn't go particularly well for me. I think by the end of the third turn, I was fully dead playing the judges. Apparently, the base game. Uh, point values aren't very balanced, but yeah, anyway. Okay, so we'll look at the contents on the back. So as you see here, you don't just get Judge Dredd, but you also get Judge Dredd and his law mask. Now, I always thought, how are you going to get this pause Judge Dredd figure on here? And the answer to that is, you actually get two. So you get two Judge Dredd miniatures and the law master itself. You also get the two character cards to play the two of them, an armory card, and a big meg card. So I'm going to do my best to remember what everything in this game does. Now I tried to do a video on the Arch Villains of Mega City 1 set. But I didn't really feel like I knew the game well enough at the time. So I just left it. Hopefully we'll be able to get through this uh, without any confusion. Hopefully I'll be able to explain everything to you. So here we go. We'll, we'll get this uh, opened. If I can just get a decent start on the on the foil here okay okay so here we go let's uh, pop the box open and see what we've got now unlike the doctor who miniatures expansions i've been opening the dread minis don't come in a lovely box the doctor who ones obviously come in that little lovely blue box that i love the judge dread ones just sort of come with a bit of card to sort of vaguely hold them in place and then uh, they come in one of these little plastic pots so we can see the minis in there pop this open okay so this oh we've got a different packer this has been packed for us today by Rodica which I don't think is someone we've come across so far in Warlords uh, we've got the cards there we'll get into them second First of all, let's take a look at this. So, first of all, we'll, we'll, we, we appear to be picking up the Lawmaster, so we'll go with that. It's quite simple uh, construction, you just clip the two pieces together. Obviously, you're going to have to trim off these bits of plastic that are stopping it from doing so right now. There's a couple of bits of plastic around uh, that are just stopping it from clicking in perfectly, but yeah, we'll just, you know, put it like that. That'll do absolutely fine. Then we've got the, uh, the handlebars there for the... Um, for the law master you're just gonna wanna split those off this chunk in the middle and put them in the little and put them in the little slots to either side. You've got Dred's legs there, which to which you're just gonna wanna slot his torso in, sit him down on the actual bike of course, and then stick his other arm in. All of these joints appear to have been cut rather poorly. So, they're all going to need to be tidied up. In fact, actually, I don't know if that's even going to... If that's ever going to go in there. <laughs> we'll see what we can do. We'll see what we can do. But basically, you're going to, like, Lego the bits of him together. And then we've got the other Judge Dread Mini. No assembly required. Much easier there. And we'll take a bit of a look at him. Looking very cool. And then I've got his base as well, of course. And then we'll take a look at the cards. So the cards have been packed for us by Nicola. And we've got Trap. Play on an enemy model within 8 or eight inches of a friendly model. The enemy model must pass a cool test. If they fail, they may not make any attacks during their next activation. So that's pretty cool. You know, it kind of stuns your opponent. Makes a lot of sense. It's not a bad card. Next we have Judge Joe Dredd. If we look at the other side, we can see his stats. Oh, the back of the cards just made me realise I am going to have to go and get the codex for this after all. Oh. Okay, so first of all, we've got uh, the stats here on the front. Dread has got a movement of 6, he's got a shooting stat of 5, a uh, melee stat of 5, an evasion stat of 4, a 
resilient stat of five, a cool stat of five, and it costs 35 not right points. Now, here's a weird, here's something that uh, sort of bothers me a bit about the game. Like I said um, a minute ago, when we tested out the game, apparently in the base game, the point values are a little bit squiffy, and it definitely felt that way when we played it, where the two judges you get in the base game were massively underpowered compared to the one gang leader that the guy that you know the bad guys have seemed massively underpowered compared to him who was incredible and then you've got like mean machine which costs 12 points but seems like he should cost quite a bit and then you've got characters like judge death which cost a lot more at 22 points and it's like a big jump but not really anywhere near as much as the 35 points that Judge Dredd then costs. So the point values are definitely questionable to me at the moment. But yeah, he's basically got... Uh, I mean, 5 is more or less a max style on everything. The only thing he doesn't have a 5 on is uh, evasion. So, you know, he's probably going to do okay. We've also got the weapons and equipment um, here as well. He's got a log of a Mark II pistol. It's a range weapon, uh, which is one-handed. Uh, that's going to give you a 4 power stat. Uh, long range of 8 inches, a short range of 16 inches, plus 1 modifier on the short range and minus 1 modifier on the long range. It has special armor piercing, special rounds and stun pulse which I'm not going to get into today. Unless it says so in the codex then I will explain it. He's also got a day stick, close combat weapon, a range of 1 inch because all melee in this game is uh, range combat as well. It's just short range combat. He gets a plus one modifier and the special on that is stun and he's also got a boot knife which is another close combat weapon. Same stats uh, as well except he can throw that instead of stunning and then on the back of the card all of his uh, details there all of which are written in the codex so I'll, I'm gonna have to crack that out now. Oh don't you love it when you pop the book open and you're on the right page already. So here's the same stats uh, and information again Except I'm going to read out what these special rules do as well. So, can't get that first one in. Book's too big. Um, Drock me, it's dread. The sight of Judge Dread or even the sound of his voice will compel even hardened perps to consider the consequences of their actions. Whenever Dread activates, he can immediately attempt to intimidate all opposing models that are within 12 inches without using an action. No characters are immune to this effect. To determine the effect of the intimidation, take a cool test for each model. If the test is failed, the target model is pinned. So that's pretty cool. You know, you can just sort of intimidate everyone for free. Um, that's probably going to help quite a lot because, you know, he's, he's probably going to be significantly outnumbered all the time. So, yeah, you're probably going to want stuff like that uh, working in your favour. Let's try a different camera angle for the rest of this because that was a horrible angle. Let's try it this way instead. Next we have Gaze into the Fist of Dread. Dread has few peers when it comes to hand in hand combat. Breaking the skulls of lawbreakers who may be a little reluctant to come quietly, Judge Dread is subject to the special brawler rules that can be found on page 26. Now that's basically a ability I believe where if a character is hit by a melee attack and they have the brawler ability they can then hit the character back with a melee attack and if they both have it they can just brawl all day long. Gunfighter. Dread's cadet record for live fire combat shooting remains the gold standard at the academy. Page 22 for gunfighter rules. Now that's the exact same thing as brawler, I thought this might be the case. Except obviously it applies to shooting instead. Incredible shot, years of experience with firearms uh, on the streets have honed Dread's marksmanship to almost unbelievable levels of accuracy. Even when firing from the hip he rarely misses. In addition to benefiting from the gunfighter skill, Judge Dread always classes the aimed fire action as a single action instead of a double action. However, he may not perform two aimed fire actions in a single activation. The second range fire action must be a snapshot. The skill allows Dread to shoot an aimed fire weapon, no, fire only weapon. Lawgiver with special ammo being a premium choice and perform another single action in the same activation So yeah, that that basically, you know does what it says on the tin you get an extra shot in a single action But the second shot can't be as good Indestructible during his career protecting Mega City one dread has been shot stabbed burned tortured poisoned and physically abused thousands of times over yet old stony face always recovers whether this is a result of dread's clone origins or just simple superhuman endurance is not certain judge dread suffers no stat loss for injury or stun results the only way you pin him down is to incapacitate or subdue him 
And finally, he has Let's Ride. When Dredd is a passenger on a Lawmaster, he is not affected by the passenger's stunned result. It then also explains what weapons he has and explains the additional point costs you can pay for him to get different weapons added on. But again, I'm not going to get into the weapons today because that's a whole nother kettle of fish. You know, I'm questioning if, if I can even give you a good review on, you know, what the actual characters do and stuff. So, you know... <laughs> Maybe best enough to uh, get into it too much. So that's Judge Joe Dredd done. Next we have the Lawmaster card. This has 14 speed, which is a significant increase on Dredd's uh, own. Three shooting, four close combat, uh, two evasion, five resilience, four cool, and 21 notoriety. Next up we have weapons and equipment, Cyclops Laser, which is a ranged weapon with a fire arc of a focused front, so you have to shoot it directly in front of you. It gives you power five, it's short range is 20 inches and it's long range is 40 inches, so I guess you could say it can shoot pretty far. It has a special ability of laser, which I won't get into today, and a modifier of plus one. The bike cannon, ranged weapon with the same focused front fire arc. Uh, power five, short range is 16 inches, long range is 32 inches. Modifier is plus two on the short range, modifier is plus one on the long range. And it has blast of two inches, which, as you may be able to guess, basically makes an explosion occur within two inches of a hit target. That's more or less everything. It has a couple of special rules on the back. AI, the Lawnmaster, can generate its own action chip just like any other model. However, despite its cooler 4, it only ever generates a normal action chip and not a star chip, which is probably fair enough. Uh, two passengers, only judges and SGS judges of all ranks and specialties, including the Mechanismo Mark 1 auxiliary judges, may ride as passengers on a Lawmaster bike. Again, probably fair enough. It's got vehicle, which is basically the basic vehicle uh, rules, as written in the rulebook. And finally, will code judge. An opponent cannot use the knock-knock rule to board a Lawmaster. When selecting your faction, you cannot select a Lawmaster unless you have a judge to ride it. However, it's going to cost a lot to get the 21 notoriety point uh, Lawmaster on with the 35 notoriety point uh, Judge Dredd. But, you know... Yours, if you can never get it to work. I mean, you're going to have to have a pretty big board going on as well to have a f need a 40-inch range. So I guess, you know, you might be having a really big game. And finally, we have the Armoury Card Electronic Overdrive uh, <laughs> Override. Will open any door. Use with Hunker Down. And that's it. That, that, that's all it says. So that has been the Judge Dredd expansion for the Judge Dredd Miniatures game opening video. Thank you for watching Tabletop Corner and goodbye. Next we have Judge Dr Joe Dredd. Uh, next we have Judge Dr Judge Joe Dredd.